sign my paychecks, buddy, you ain't no mystic sage. Your signature ain't worth the ink you leave upon the page. Checks, buddy, you ain't no mystic sage. Your signature ain't worth the ink you leave upon the page. Satellite. I can't 
All right. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to this special episode of Nick Straight Music. How's everybody doing today? Uh, today, we are going to do the official welcome uh, to my guitar family of my uh, my new um, Epiphone Dove Pro. Um, and this is going to serve as a review for the guitar as well. I've never done like a, like a straight-up gear review before, uh, so... Is this thing on? Uh, so uh, today I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try um, and give you guys really kind of an in-depth look at uh, the instrument itself and what I think about it as a musician. <laughs> uh, the musician that is going to, let's see, is this also gonna be a naming stream? <laughs> hey, doo-doo, how are you? No, um, I am, we're not going to name it quite yet because it's not done, and I will I will get into that. So uh, this review is going to be um, <laughs> it it is a guitar reveal ceremony though. <laughs> so um, yeah, so as a working musician that's going to be using this guitar as you know as a workhorse. Um, I'm just going to kind of give you guys my thoughts on it, why I selected the guitar, a little bit about the history of the guitar. Um, I'm, I'm probably not going to do a whole lot of, you know, like playing of my songs. I'm mostly going to be doing little ditties to kind of demonstrate um, uh, the way that the guitar sounds. So anyway, uh, let's grab the guitar and start talking about it. <laughs> So right off the bat, when you look at it, your first reaction is, boy, this is about the prettiest guitar I've ever seen. Um, and it is, um, on the small screen there, does not do it justice. Um, um, it is beyond beautiful. <laughs> um, I was kind of... Uh, 
speechless when when it came and I opened up the box and actually saw it for the first time. Uh, bought this from Sweetwater. Um, uh, Sweetwater, of course, is uh, they're a major major uh, musical instrument retailer um, in. Um, Can I remember the name of the town they're in? Anyway, they're in Indiana, Fort Wayne, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Um, they've got a massive guitar shop there, a massive warehouse. They have a music university there. They have recording studios there. It's kind of a one-stop shop. Um, one of the things that I like about Sweetwater is they're, they are extremely musician-minded. They have the musician in mind. Yeah, they're a big company, of course they are, but they uh, they understand who their customers are and they cater to us very well. Um, you know, uh, when you open your Sweetwater account, you're assigned a, a personal sales engineer um, that that handles um, uh, handles basically everything for you, and every guitar. In their showroom, they have professional photos taken of them. So when you're online shopping for a guitar at Sweetwater, you're not just looking at a generic picture of, you're not just looking at a stock photo from Epiphone of that guitar. You are looking at a gallery from several different angles of all of the guitars that they have in stock so you can inspect them up close and it is so cool so this this is definitely uh this is the one that i picked and it's it's absolutely amazing to have seen something in a picture and picked it out based on you know things that you liked in the wood grain like these the, these racing stripes <laughs> and to have them send you a portfolio of the professional pictures that they took of the guitar and then to actually have the guitar arrive, and it's exactly the guitar that you saw in the pictures. It's exactly the guitar that you picked out. So uh, from that standpoint, kudos to Sweetwater. Um, they really have a personal touch. Uh, even though you know I'm 1,500 miles away from them, I kind of feel like I got to go uh, walk around their store and pick my guitar. So anyway, so this is it. Uh, this is the Epiphone Dove Pro. Uh, Epiphone started making these in 2013. Uh, Ep Epiphone, of course, is a subsidiary of Gibson. Um, and Gibson and Epiphone have worked together for a very, very long time. I mean, since the 60s, they've worked together. They basically make the same lines. Um, Epiphone, of course, is just kind of the budget brand, <laughs> but th that I, I have so much love for Epiphones. Dot is an Epiphone. Um, Epiphones are fantastic guitars. Just because they're less expensive than an actual Gibson, do not let that deter you. Uh, so with that being said, uh, the original Dove was a Gibson instrument, and it came out in 1962. Um, this is styled like a 1962 uh, Gibson Dove. Uh, it's in violin burst. Um, it's got uh, the beautiful, um, the beautiful Dove uh, stylized pit guard. That's um, um, it's it's faux tortoise shell. You know, it's not real tortoise shell. The actual Gibson would have actual tortoise shell, but I can't tell the difference. It looks exactly the same. <laughs> Um, you've got, uh, very beautiful, um, this very beautiful dove wing, uh, bridge, uh, which is, uh, kind of unique to this instrument. And it's got the, uh, dove wing, uh, mother of pearl, uh, inlays. Uh, it's got the trapezoidal mother of pearl inlays on, uh, the fretboard. Uh, and then it's got the, uh, the, uh, Gibson crown up here, uh, in mother of pearl as well. Uh, so what are some things that set the Dove apart from the more famous guitars in Gibson's lineup, like, uh, the, the Hummingbird or the venerable J45? Um, this guitar is, it's, it's, it's made of different woods than those guitars. Those, those guitars have a solid Sitka spruce top, uh, and then the back and sides are solid mahogany. 
uh, mahogany, uh, which is what uh, Jean-Luc is made out of, um, mahogany has a very warm tone to it, uh, which is very desirable um, for a lot of reasons. Uh, that's w one of the reasons that I got the, uh, the wooden version of Jean-Luc, because um, I like the warmth of the mahogany. But with that being said, um, I use flat wound strings on my guitars. Uh, that's one of the first things I do when I get a new guitar is I put flat wounds on it um, because I hate the round wound screechy sound. This still has the rounds on it. I, I can't stand that sound, uh, especially as a recording artist. Have I actually played it yet, this guitar? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I've <laughs> been playing it a lot the past few days. Uh, but anyway, flat wound strings are not as bright and jangly as rounds are. So I, I had an idea and I wanted to try something different. The Dove is virtually identical to the Hummingbird, except it's got a uh, solid maple. Um, I'll take this off and show you. It has a solid maple back and sides. So uh, the maple resonates differently than the mahogany does. Uh, it's a much brighter tone. Uh, so I thought I would give that a try um, <clears throat> using the brighter guitar with mellower strings, which we'll, we'll put on later. Um, so that's, that, that's kind of one of the main reasons uh, that I wanted to try uh, the Dove instead of the Hummingbird. Because uh, again, they're virtually identical guitars. The Dove is a little bit more ornate than uh, the Hummingbird, but that, of course, has nothing to do with the way it sounds. What makes the difference in the way that the Dove sounds is the wood that it's made out of. Of course, it does have the same sick, solid uh, Sitka spruce top that the uh, Hummingbird and uh, the J45 do, but uh, it's those, those maple and uh, those, the solid maple sides and back um, that make this guitar sound the way it does. So... Um, Let's go ahead and um, have a listen to it. Um, so you'll you'll notice that I don't have it plugged in. This is an acoustic electric guitar. Uh, we'll get to that later in the review. But right now, I'm just miking it uh, with a Pile 78. Uh, out of all of my mics, I think the Pile 78 sounds uh, the best on this guitar. So um, let's let, let's just kind of run through some chords uh, a little bit, just so we can kind of hear it jangle. It's gorgeous. The way this thing sounds is amazing. Um, it's got a nice. Um, it's got a nice jangle to it, but the uh, the low tones still come through, so it sounds nice and full body. Especially in, you know, if I get closer to the mic, you can. You can hear that it's it's got it's got a nice low end to it, uh, and that'll be accentuated even more once I get the uh, the flats on it. Um, but anyway, uh, so this, this is a full size, uh, dreadnought style guitar. Uh, I already talked about the body wood, uh, the fretboard and the bridge are both Indian Laurel. Um, the nut and the saddle are graph tech new bone. Uh, it comes, it comes standard with that, uh, which is kind of cool. That's kind of a premium feature. Uh, I'm really into Graph Tech. I've got a Graph Tech nut in the dot. I think it sounds just like bone, um, but um, since they're they're synthetic and they're factory made, I think there's a whole lot more consistency uh, in the uh, the Graph Tech uh, new bone products. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's got it's got vintage style Grover uh, tuners on it. These are. These are uh, honest to goodness Grovers. If it, uh, yeah, you can see if it focuses on it there. These are real Grovers, uh, so they, they definitely didn't skimp on that. Uh, they're not knockoffs. Um, I actually, I don't, I don't like this style of Grover uh, machine head. 
So uh, one of the first projects that we're going to do is we're going to switch those out to um, to this style Grover tuner. Um, that's that's definitely the kind that I like. So uh, that'll be a fun project. And we'll restring it at that time uh, as well. Um, but anyway, let's um, let's let's do a couple of demos. Um, when I was when I was just playing it, there's bleed over from my my vocal mic. So let me go ahead and turn that off really quick. And I'm just gonna play for a little bit. I'm gonna do some strumming and then some finger picking, uh, so you can just hear uh, the guitar mic. So... When you mic an acoustic guitar, <laughs> it depends on where the mic is pointing. Um, that, that, that affects the sound. So I'm going to move the guitar around a little bit so you guys can kind of hear uh, how it sounds mic'd from different angles. Music lessons with Nick.
All right, so as you can hear, it is undoubted, un, undoubtedly, undoubtedly, undoubtedly a beautiful sounding instrument. Uh, and it'll only get better uh, as time goes on, as it gets played in and broken in a bit. Uh, give that, uh, that Sitka spruce uh, some time to breathe and open up a bit. Uh, the sound's going to get even bigger and more full over time. So, um, yeah, so like one of my first impressions of uh, this guitar, um, besides the way it looks, uh, when I when I picked it up for the first time and I put my hand on this neck, this is one of the most comfortable necks that I've ever felt on a guitar. Uh, let me see if I can get this out of the way just a little bit. Uh, it is uh, Epiphone's Slim Taper D Profile Neck. Uh, it's very similar to the neck on Dot, actually. Um, and I was... Um, anytime it says Slim Taper, I get just a little bit... Um, I get a little bit leery of it because i got really big hands. Um, and I, I like to have a neck that's, that's big and and kind of thick, not quite like a baseball bat, but almost. Um, and this guitar definitely delivers on that. Uh, and the, the action down here at the saddle is perfect. It's one of the most effortless guitars that I've ever played. Uh, the amount of force that you need to fret the strings clearly is, it, it, it's, it's negligible. I mean, you can just kind of lay your fingers on the strings and it's just... So clear, so clear and clean, and that's the same anywhere up and down the neck. Um, again, your mileage may vary with different hands, but for my hands, uh, this is about heaven, <laughs> as 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 close as you can get uh, with a guitar neck, anyway. So. Um, the fit and finish on this guitar. Let's kind of talk about that. Um, it looks great from far away. Um, and in on a guitar in this price range, you might expect for it to look this good this far away, but maybe not so much when you get up close. Not so with this guitar. It is really, really well made. Uh, the binding on it uh, is, is just gorgeous. I'll, I'll come up a little closer and show you. Um, let's see. Oh, let's, oh, geez. Hold on. My shock mount. My, uh, my new, uh, Heritage Edition V67 came, by the way, and that's this bad boy. I love it. Okay. So, anyway... So let's let's take a look at this. I, I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see this, but um, the the binding around the sound hole is absolutely flawless. I mean, there is there's there's no defect in it whatsoever. Uh, the binding around the edges, same way. All the way around the guitar, it's 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 beautiful. It is it's perfect. Uh, it's got that nice that nice well-defined black line that goes all the way down uh, between the binding uh, and and the body, um, and it is um, I just I cannot find a blemish that anyone would be able to see unless I found I found two of them but man you got to be up with the guitar in your face so let me show you there's one of them right right here it looks like the glue between the binding and the body they were a little bit messy with the glue there and it got uh, varnished over yeah I'm, I'm looking at this and you, you you really can't see it you can just see that the black isn't quite as solid there as far as the binding goes on the entire instrument, that's the only flaw. And that is in a spot where no one will ever see it but me. Um, and then, uh, this this is a pretty common trouble area for Epiphones, really. But again, it's not something that anyone's going to see unless they're looking for it. 
uh, there's there's a little bit of glue uh, right where the... I really don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. There's a little bit of glue you can see right under there where the, uh, where the neck joins the body. I can't get my finger at quite the right angle. Anyway, it doesn't matter because you can't see it because it's under the fretboard. No one's ever going to see that except, I mean, because I'm showing it to you. But otherwise, you would never see it. Uh, the binding up and down the sides of the neck is flawless. Hey, you got accepted into ZME. Awesome, Javon. How are you doing, man? Um, the mother of pearl inlays around the bridge. They're perfect. They're not real mother of pearl, but again, you couldn't tell. Going to be controlling on VATSIM. Awesome, man. That's very, very nice. And this is another thing that I absolutely love. Um, I'm doing good, Javon. I'm doing a uh, review on the uh, the uh, Epiphone Dove Pro. Uh, this is my my new guitar. Um, I'm just give it, kind of giving my thoughts on it, showing people. Uh, I I know the the ring light is. Hold on. Let me let me see if I can turn it down for right now. Okay. So that inlay right there. That is the Gibson crown. That is such a cool feature to have on an Epiphone at this price point. Usually, they don't start putting the actual Gibson crown on these until you get up to, like, um, you know, the next tier of these. Even Dot doesn't have that. If I take Dot down, you can see that Dot's got... Um, Dot's got kind of this this stepped diamond inlay, and that's that's the more traditional Epiphone inlay. But this this new guitar has the Gibson crown on it, which is very nice. So, anyway, <laughs> so anyway, um, yes, yeah, so from an up close standpoint. Um, it's pretty much perfect. The classic country chord progression, one, five, four, six. I have no idea what that is. I can go. Yeah. You know, I can do stuff like that. I don't know anything about music theory. C major. Okay. I can play a C major chord. G. C. G. F. What's the next one? A minor. Really? Oh, I like that. I like that it ends on that minor chord. That's that, that's very nice. Minor, G major, F major, A minor. What the heck just happened? Country, man. Love it. Hold on. I experienced some technical difficulties for a second. Yeah, anyway. Now, um, <clears throat> you can hear that uh, this... You get a really nice sound from this when you got both mics going. So when I've got this mic on as kind of like a room mic to catch kind of like the brighter ambiance of the guitar mixed with this mic, we get... We get a really nice sound. You get a really nice, accurate picture of what this guitar sounds like. That's actually probably the way to mic this thing. Standing alone at the edge of the sea 
is a strapping young man who reminds me of me. He came from his home in the far distant hills. Yes. So the reason that I'm playing that, Javon, is I just realized that that song is that country progression backwards. Uh, that song of mine, Bigger Than Me, it's A minor, F, C, G. So I do know it, I just know it backwards. <laughs> I can't think of a song that I've ever played that uses um, C, G. Well, it's it's not completely backwards. There's a couple inversions there, but anyway. It uses all the songs in your country progression. I mean, all the chords in your country progression. So anyway, <clears throat> back to the guitar. Um, this thing is great. I love the way it sounds. I can't say enough good things about the way this guitar sounds acoustically. Ah, yeah. Now let's talk about why this guitar is priced at the point that it's at. Are you guys ready for the sad part? All right, so I'm turning off this mic. We're going to plug it in. We're going to plug it in, and we're going to use the onboard electronics, uh, which is, it's uh, it's made by Fishman. Uh, it's the uh, Fishman uh, Sonicore Underbridge Saddle uh, with the Fishman uh, Sonitone uh, control panel. It's a discrete control panel. It's right up here. Uh, right in here, you got the uh, volume and the tone knobs on it, finger wheels. <sighs> so it's got the jack socket at the end, of course. Let me plug it in. So Fishman is known uh, for making really nice um, acoustic guitar electronic products. <sighs> I don't think this is one of them. <laughs> um, let me let me turn it on and show you what I mean. All right, so I'm turning off my overhead mic all together. So you're not going to be able to hear me at all. Just this thing. So you heard that, right? You heard the difference? Hey, Ace, how you doing? Um, I don't know how long you've been around, but we're, uh, we're reviewing my new guitar right now. And um, uh, I just showed you guys the sad thing about it, which is the reason that this guitar is at the price point that it's at. Uh, this is an amazing instrument. Um, use a Fishman pickup. Um, th this is a Fishman system in it. Uh, it's, uh, it's a Fishman, uh, Sonicore under saddle, um, 
it's similar to the system that I've got in my 12 string, except the one in my 12 string actually sounds like my guitar. Um, okay, so let's, let's say this about the sound that we just heard. It's a fine, generic, acoustic guitar sound that if you plugged it into something that had an equalizer on it, um, you could mold it into something that you could get by with in a pinch. Um, I might use I might use this onboard system live, certainly not for recording, certainly not for recording an album. Um, it is, um, yeah, it just it it really. Um, I'm gonna go back to the microphone because we're not gonna do that again because we don't need to. <laughs> So, <laughs> that is what this guitar sounds like. Yeah, so my so this guitar acoustically sounds like a guitar easily two or three times what it retails for. Plugged in, it sounds it sounds like any any generic beginner's acoustic electric guitar, which is not acceptable. Uh, it's not acceptable to me, um, but that's okay because luckily I am. Um, a guitar modification enthusiast, uh, to put it mildly. So, um, this guitar is in good hands with me. Um, we are going to get it so that it sounds like this. We're going to get it so that it sounds like that plugged in. Uh, so tomorrow I have a K and K pure system coming for this. Uh, K and K, uh, haven't talked to you guys, uh, just in case trying to make my PC crash. So I may disappear. Okay. Those are your goals for the day. Trying to make my PC crash. Okay. That's totally cool, man. You do you. Um, experimenting is fun. And I know that you're a guy that's into experimenting with stuff like that. So I know you have a good reason for it. Uh, so if you disappear, we will know that you achieved your goal. <laughs> and, and we'll applaud for you. Uh, anyway, so uh, basically all of my acoustic instruments, um, well, except for a couple of them, uh, I have installed... Um, pickups from the Pure series from k, &K. I love k, k They're based in Oregon, um, and they make the best passive um, acoustic instrument amplification systems. I've got one on my banjo. Uh, that's what's in Jean-Luc is a k, k Pure, and you know how good that guitar sounds plugged in. I usually play that guitar plugged in on the stream here. Uh, so... I mean, you, you guys kind of know what to expect. So I'm ordering the uh, k, k Pure Mini, which is for six-string acoustic guitars. Uh, and that should be coming tomorrow. So I'm going to uh, install that. I'm going to rip out the Fishman system. Um, except I'm probably going to leave the Sonicore in because it's under the bridge. And I actually really love the action on this thing right now. Uh, so if I took the Sonicore out... Uh, I'd have to install a new saddle, uh, and I'd have to grind it to just the right size. And I actually like the way that this one feels. So I'm actually just going to get in there, and I'm just going to clip the wire that goes to the Sonicore, and I'm just going to leave the Sonicore in there dead for all time. Uh, but then we'll have the uh, the K, &K uh, actually under the bridge inside. So um, those, th those are going to be the fun projects that we're going to do this week. I'm going to install that, and then I'm going to install uh, the, the new uh, Ivory uh, ivory Tulip style uh, Grover tuners. 
So anyway, um, we still haven't named the guitar yet. Um, oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. It sounds so good. Um, I'm 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 really traumatized by by just that little bit of playing plugged in that I did again. I didn't want to do that again. I plugged it in yesterday, and I was like, ugh, oh. I don't want to do that again, but I have to show somebody this. I have to show somebody. <laughs> so, so I did. Oh. Yeah, so I'm super excited about this guitar, guys. Um, this is the Epiphone Dove Pro. Uh, it's modeled after the 1962. Um, I'm going to make a couple cosmetic adjustments to it. I'm going to replace the electronics. Um, and that is... Hey, Quasar, what's going on? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I'm going to sign off pretty soon here just to let you know. This was kind of a bonus stream. I do longer strings, uh, longer streams later uh, in the weeks. Uh, but um, this guitar is at the point where I need to do modifications on it. So I wanted to do a review on it uh, before I make any mods to it. It's completely stock right now, stock strings even. It has uh, Gibson uh, 12 to 53 phosphor bronze strings on it right now we're gonna get rid of those and replace them with uh diderio chrome flat wounds which is what i put on all my instruments all of my guitars have diderio flat wound chromes on them um these strings right here the jazz lights best strings on the planet As far as I'm concerned. But again, everyone's different. I know a lot of people like the bright, snappy sound that you get from the round wound phosphor bronze string. Phosphor bronze strings. Um, I don't. <laughs> I like flats. Flats are better for recording. I like the more mellow sound that you get out of them. Uh, it's going to mellow this out a little bit. It's going to lose some of its snap. But... Um, I think it's I think it's gonna sound great with flats on it. I, I can't I can't wait to hear it. Um, so anyway, um, that pretty much concludes my review on this guitar. Unless you guys have any uh, other questions about it. Again, this is just gonna be a real short stream today. I wanted to keep it like under an hour. So uh, hopefully you guys have learned something about the guitar. Uh, and, uh, I look forward to showing you guys its evolution. That's something that we can talk about. I don't know if I should put a poll up or you guys, uh, can say something in the comments on the suggestions on Twitch, but, um, I could live stream, um, the, um, the modification process. I could, uh, live stream any specific songs that you want to play with the new guitar. Yeah, definitely. There are some songs of mine that... Um, really will benefit from this. Mountainside, for instance. Yeah, now it sounds like a cowboy song. Before he set out on his journey The boy from the valley said Surely there must be a way Across the mountains that stood in his way And he would decide the path that he'd take It's a choice that he'd have to make but in all his confusion, his face was as pale as the snow on the mountainside. His 
horse was the strongest of any The days that they shared had been many When that day arrived He said, come horse, let's go for a ride They both seemed to know what was at stake That's the chance that they'd had to take so he and his steed both set off for the climb towards the shadow mountainside. They trudged on ahead up the mountain. The days too many for counting The horse he broke stride The boy jumped off and walked by his side He would decide the pace that they'd take That's a choice that he'd have to make To build fire and shelter or ride Till they both died high on the mountainside Food had run out about halfway Freezing, he thought about that day That he chose to leave The strength then returned to his knees and he would <laughs> Leaving the mountain behind in their wake There's a chance that they'd have to take I forgot the words. Anyway, that song. <laughs> yeah, it, it'll be nice to have the uh, the uh, pure mini in here um, because I tend to move back and forth a lot, and when it's mic'd, it messes with the sound. So when I have the K and K in here, you know, it'll actually sound it'll actually sound right, and I'll be able to move around. <laughs> Hi, any Johnny Cash. Um, if you're still here, Quasar, I uh, don't play a whole lot of covers. Uh, I don't know any Johnny Cash, actually. I, I, I mostly just play uh, my own music, um, which hopefully uh, some people uh, enjoy. <laughs> I think some people do. Yeah, this thing is just beautiful. Well, come step down from your rainbow. Well, come step down from your heights. Well, bring your poor eyes to focus on what matters in life. I mean, it, it, it lends itself well to anything. But uh, there are definitely, um, definitely some some songs that this this guitar is going to be featured on for sure. It's not a replacement for Jean Luc. Don't don't worry about that. This is just a different sound. It's a new tool in my arsenal. But that guitar right there, that is still. I, I think the microphone is in the way of me pointing at it. But that guitar right there, that is still a force to be reckoned with. This guitar, I, I know you probably can't tell because I've got all the sound equalized. Um, 
I mean, the volume's equalized. I'm not using any EQ or any effects on this session, by the way, because I want people to be able to hear what the guitar actually sounds like. There's no reverb, there's no EQ, there's no compression, no nothing. What you're hearing is just the raw sound. Um, but that guitar is so much louder than this. I was surprised, actually, because I've spent so much time playing a resonator guitar that when I when I opened this up and I started playing it, I'm like, God, it's so quiet. It sounds great, but it's so quiet. And then I'm just like, no, that's that's the volume that a normal acoustic guitar is. <laughs> is, you know, this is actually, this is a dreadnought. This is actually pretty loud for an acoustic guitar because the body's so big. That guitar is way louder <laughs> because of the resonator in it. So it, it really does its job. Uh, anyway, so... Um, Yes, a song specifically where I want to use this guitar is And No I Love You. I'd want that real old-fashioned acoustic guitar sound on it. Forget what society says, let's make a new way. New day, new games to play with the heart of a child driving me wild I'm never growing up it's just a good old-fashioned guitar sound forget what they want you to do cause you could be true a brand new I love you Know the way we should start Illustrate from your heart You know I love you too Do 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 Forget what they want you to think Cause we're on the brink A thin high skating ring But if we turn about today if we jump in all the way We could tell a different tale About the choice we made ourselves Jump in all the way We could tell a different tale About the choice we made ourselves Ooh, ooh Forget what society says Let's make a new way And know I love you The Epiphone Dove. Um, anyway, like I was saying, uh, I could totally do uh, the modifications on a live stream. Uh, take my setup out to the um, the old dining room table, which also serves as my workbench because it's a nice big area, um, and rip this thing apart, and you guys could see uh, see that that part of what I do. That would probably be like one of those streams that goes a really long time, though, and I wouldn't do a whole lot of talking, probably. It'd probably be pretty boring unless you're a total tech tech nerd. Um, I might do it anyway. <laughs> anyway, that serves as my review for the Epiphone Dove. Um... You guys will see a whole lot of this guitar. Uh, it now hangs right up here next to Jean-Luc. Ta-da! Get this mic out of the way. Look at that. 
Look at her up there. Look at that. Look at that guitar. Beautiful. All right, anyway. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little, uh, very short impromptu, um, impromptu, turned it down too far. This, uh, impromptu, um, stream that I did today, um, where I reviewed my new, uh, Epiphone Dove Pro. I guess it kind of serves as a review for my, uh, my MXL, um, V67G. What can I say about it other than it's a rock solid microphone? This was our our old friend that was always sitting up here, but now hangs in front of my uh, my beautiful uh, vintage Vox speaker cabinet. So this will be this will be the uh, the the new face of the uh, of the stream. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so uh, the schedule's actually not changing. Uh, I did some more research based on trends going back a little further uh, than what I was uh, looking at before, and it looks like um, I'm I'm actually streaming at, at just the right times. Uh, we just got to figure out how to get more people to us. Um, so we'll keep on keeping on. <laughs> anyway, so let's see. Uh, we met... We met uh, Quasar underscore E. Thanks for stopping by. Didn't officially join the family, but that's okay. Uh, please stop by again at some at some point if you choose to do so. Uh, it's very hard to climb on Twitch. Yeah, it is, but we'll get there. I'm not uh, I'm not too worried about it. You're rooting for me. I know you are a doo doo. Thank you, man. I appreciate you so much. Uh, you're a, you're a tremendous support. Uh, it's it's good to know good to know you're around so um anyway um smoke me a kipper also known as ace thanks for stopping by man i hope this means your pc crashed whatever that means <laughs> i hope you got the result you wanted and i hope that it helped you track down some issue that you were having so um good for you man good for you all right, so I think we're good to go. Uh, this is uh, this has been a nice, uh, short but st sweet stream. Um, it was fun uh, playing my uh, playing my my new guitar for you guys. Um, and yeah, like I said, uh, it's gonna get some really cool modifications in just the next few days. I mean, this isn't we're not talking about like this is something that we're gonna do weeks or months from now. The tuners are here today. The K&K system is going to be here tomorrow. Um, so I'm, I'm going to do this in the next couple of days. Um, estimating it's probably going to be four or five hours worth of work, uh, which always means it's going to be double that. So <laughs> I'll stream what I can of it. Uh, again, it's probably not going to be uh, it's not going to be scheduled in. But we'll continue doing the normal uh, scheduled streams, studio work on Thursday and Friday. And then uh, on Saturday, we'll do a random jam of some kind. And I'll have a poll out later in the week for you guys. So anyway, thank you for joining me for this special edition of Nick Straight Music. Uh, my, my very first in-depth gear review. Um, maybe we'll do more of these as time goes by. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> anyway. Um, wash your hands, wear your mask. We love you with all our hearts and we want you to be around as long as you possibly can be. So please take care of yourself and take care of those around you. Um, I love you guys with all my heart. Uh, again, big thanks to, uh, a doo-doo eight. Uh, oh, Javon, Javon, I almost forgot you. Javon, thanks for stopping by. Congratulations on uh, getting into uh, training for controlling on that sim. That's going to be a lot of fun. Congratulations to you. Uh, Smoke me a Kepper slash Ace uh, Quasar E. We'll see you guys next time. So I wish you guys all nothing but peace, love, happiness, all the good things. And until next time, I love you guys. Bye bye.
you have learned 